Would you take 75 for him? I don't think so. Which is the reason I came, but someone grabbed it. It was 80 bucks, anyways. Oh, jeez. Morning. Morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's out here and then it's in the house too. You go toward that door and turn right and uh, go in the house. Thank you. How much would you need if I bought all your postcards? You have them all for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, huh? Yeah. And there's more than $50 worth in one, one album. I'm going to buy them. Okay. And uh, I'll keep looking around if you, you just want to set them aside for me. Put them aside. Appreciate it. Thank you. You do have a lot of stuff. And he told you there's some inside, right? Yeah. That's neat. How much is that? Yeah, for a dollar. I just need to get rid of it. I'll take it. You can tell them out there. Okay. And then turn right. Okay. Buy ten of those drawers and you get one free. Okay. And you can't even buy the wood to make Thank them for that. Yeah. Those are 
brand new, never been worn. Would you take 75 for them? I don't think so. My uh, my son paid paid over a hundred dollars for them. And... How about you split it with me? We'll do a hundred bucks. Split it with you. Yeah, you're at 125. I'm at 75. Oh, I'll meet okay. you in the middle. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. And I owe you 50 for the postcards. Oh yeah. I thought there There's was a, a price on these. Each. All right. Um, hundred and fifty dollars and fifty cents, and then she, uh, she said a dollar I'll, for that. Uh, I'll throw that in. I appreciate that. I'll throw that in with the postcards. All right, hundred fifty bucks. Right. You guys are easy to work with. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, fellas. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back at the shop. I only had time to go to two garage sales today because we're going to the Reds game today and I needed to get back here to ship out all my eBay orders, but the two that I went to were fantastic. I'm gonna show you what I found. So the first sale was actually a church sale and I got these notebooks for a quarter a piece. I got four of them, nothing special, but I'm just gonna keep them around here to jot things down. I got a big stack of records. These were only 25 cents each, which is a great price for records. I normally would put these in my antique booths, but I recently closed them down since I've got the shop now. So I'm still gonna sell records here. I'd much rather sell them in person than online, but I'm probably gonna be pricing them a little bit cheaper uh, than I would have them in my booth. You know, something like this, I would probably price between like three and $5, but here I'll probably just price it at two bucks. But yeah, there's some good titles in here. I had to dig a little bit. There was a lot of like, classical and big band and that type of stuff but i'm glad i did because it was definitely worth it there's some pretty good records in here also got this old recorder uh Dolmetsch, i think is the brand box is a little bit rough but it's definitely vintage uh paid ten dollars for it i think it'll sell between like 25 30 something like that and lastly at that sale i got this ll bean shirt i think it's like a like a lined uh fleece flannel i think that's fleece it is an adult medium, and this was only two bucks. Anytime I find LL Bean shirts, if they're in decent condition and they're cheap, I always pick them up. Went to an estate sale after that, and that is where I found some awesome stuff. I got this 1963, I guess this is like a glass magnifying glass, like that would just go on a desk. Pretty neat. Um, that was only a dollar. That's from the East Dayton Tool and Die Company. I got these Wittekind or Wittekind aircraft coasters that somebody made from 1983. And I bought a huge postcard collection. So I'm going to pull these out of the boxes here to show you guys. They had these priced at like, like 50 cents each or something, but it even said, you know, make an offer on all of them. And I was like, you know, what are you hoping to get for all of them? And he said 50 bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Because I think each binder has like 150 to 200 postcards. I mean, there's a ton of them in here and some pretty neat ones too. In general, I don't buy a lot of postcards because it's something that, you know, probably individually they don't sell for a lot of money unless it's something special uh, or old. Uh, but I'll probably just flip them in bulk to somebody. Uh, my buddy Danny of Pickwell Resellers actually loves postcards. So I might just give all these to him. A lot of these say postcard club. So I guess somebody belonged to a club and would get postcards through it. National Postcard Week, 1986. Carter can have his peanuts. They misspelled Reagan. Reagan has jelly beans. I want postcards for National Postcard Week. Oh, this is cool. Here's an old mail truck. National Postcard Week, 1985. Yeah, there's some pretty neat ones in here. But by far the best find at that sale were these Nike snowboard boots. They had them priced at $125 and a lot of things at that sale were just overpriced. To be honest, they had Legos for $100 that were selling for like 50 on eBay. So I originally kind of scoffed at the price, but I've never seen Nike snowboard boots before. So I went ahead and looked them up and these are Nike vaping snowboard boots and they just have a killer look to them. And they still have the tags, the, you know, red laces and everything. This box isn't the Nike box. Actually, shoot. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> because this was a blue box, I thought it wasn't the right box. But you can see right there, Nike Vape at 8 half. And you can see the price suggested retail, our price, $49.99. Even though, you know, retails for $250. And the guy claimed that his son had paid $200. Maybe he did. You know, that was the original tag back there, $200. But... Looks like he paid 50 and then doubled his money and sold it to me for 100 but either way um in this condition i think i can get between 300 and 400 dollars i saw the same pair sell used for 305 so i think that is definitely a home run that is it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time